Good afternoon. I'm Chris Massengill, federal co-chairman of the Delta Regional Authority, which represents 252 counties and parishes across the eight-state Delta region. On behalf of the Delta Regional Authority and our partners at the Department of Defense, it is a true honor to accept the National Rural Health Association's Outstanding Rural Health Program Award. The Delta Regional Authority implements a wide range of economic and community development programs designed to uplift our region. None gives me as much personal satisfaction as the Innovative Readiness Training Program. The collaboration leverages resources of the Military Reserve, the DRA, and local communities to deliver urgently needed health care services to truly medically underserved communities in the Delta, all while providing important military training to our incredible men and women in uniform. This form of training for my troops is extraordinarily helpful. Taking blood pressures, you know, talking with the patients, um, getting out into the civilian world and actually uh, getting that hands-on experience. We don't get it any other way. Since its inception, the IRT program has provided medical, dental, and optical care to more than 50,000 patients in our region at no cost to them. Witnessing the program in action is extremely powerful. Every year, I'm moved by watching our service men and women administer to patients who have often never seen a doctor, a dentist, or an optometrist. What we see is a lot of chronic infections. We see a lot of uh, neglected mouths where they need a lot of dental care. Uh, patients are coming in with a lot of toothaches. The life-changing stories that come from this partnership are endless. I can hear again. It's just wonderful. They have helped me with my vision. I don't have any kind of insurance, so this is good. This is the best thing that happened for me, really. Last year, a rural teacher asked the IRT mission to send a team to her classroom because she suspected many of her children were in need of glasses. One young boy who had previous behavioral problems became a model student once he was fitted with glasses and could finally see the whiteboard to participate in their lessons. To think that this program could have shifted his whole life's path in such a positive way is really humbling. The IRT program is a direct boost to our region's economic development. Improving health outcomes means increased workforce productivity and thus a stronger economic growth. Providing access to quality health care is particularly important in regions such as ours that still struggle with the nation's highest rates of chronic diseases. It is my hope that today's recognition helps to bring this highly successful, cost-saving, life-changing and replicable program to rural communities across this great nation. A special thank you to our lead staff person, Bevan Hunter, for her hard work and wonderful leadership on coordination of this program. And thank you again to the National Rural Health Association for this incredible award.